always had. And those that you yeah. grew up with? Yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. And they treat you oh, the same? Oh, completely the same. No. So, <laughs> they're very uh, candid with you? Yeah, oh, very much so. And, and how, but how do they not sort of develop that awe, you know, that, okay, when we go, we used to go out together and, you know, have a Coke or something, and now when we go out, it's a bunch of people staring at us. Because... We're, we get kind of oblivious to the whole thing sometimes. Maybe that's not a good thing, but maybe it's a... I don't know. Like, we just go out and we just have a good time and we just try to, you know... You just I you mean, have to think that way, huh? Yeah. Because I, I will tell you that I was in Hawaii once, uh -huh. and you were there on vacation, uh -huh. and you were laying by the pool. Uh -huh. No, nothing happened. You were laying by the pool. Okay. Don't worry. I'm like, what did I do? There's okay. no scandal. Relax. Don't worry. Okay. But you... <laughs> You were laying by the pool trying to get some sun, all right? Uh -huh. Perfectly fine. And I noticed that everybody began to gather around this pool, and you could hear them talking about you, and they're two feet away from you, so obviously uh -huh. you can hear them talking about you. Uh -huh. Then Brittany gets up and she decides to, what would we do? If we're a little warm, walk to the ocean. Eighty people begin to get up from their chairs lounges <laughs> and walk to the ocean. And I just, what I noticed about it was that you just kind of did your thing. I mean, you, you obviously know that they're there, but you just mm -hmm. had to sort of be yourself. Mm -hmm. That's what it's like, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, swimming in the ocean and having those people stare at you. Yeah, it's okay, though. I mean, like, honestly, I mean, to a certain extent, sometimes it gets a little much, but at the end of the day, they made me who I am. Yeah. You know, like the fans, yeah, that's right. what, you know, and you can never forget that. And now I mean, you're I know that sounds real cheesy and like, no, 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 but, but it's, it's, it's so true. true. Right? Yeah. It's so true. And now she's gearing up for the big tour. It's a great <laughs> it starts March 2nd. It kicks off in San Diego. And then you're going to be traveling around the country. And I know that you take um, a lot of pride in your, your performances. I know you work your butt off to make these things incredible when people come to see your shows. Talk about sort of uh, the range of emotions that you want people to feel when they're watching you perform. Um, the show is very cool because I'm doing a lot of the old stuff, but it's all remixes and everything. And it's just um, the costumes are amazing but I, the thing i really like about this show it's a little bit more intimate <clears throat> than most of the sh other shows that i've done i mean i love the other shows that i've done but it's just i don't know like you just have to keep challenging yourself and keep pushing yourself to the limit and i think that um the choreography and everything mm -hmm. is just ah it's just exciting it gets it gets my adrenaline going and it makes me very excited so hopefully people will feel the same one of the best parts of the gig just being on stage yeah and putting on i just think also putting on the cool costume oh, too yeah. you know what i mean i mean i hate to say it as a guy but <laughs> I, I, I mean, you know, if I were a girl, uh, it would be fun to have all the, the cool free clothes and yeah, things. Yeah, exactly. Know, there, Hello. You know? yes. Do you have a huge walk-in closet where you keep all that stuff? Mm-hmm. Yeah. A little spalled, yes. Mm -hmm. L little spalled. See, there's spalled. that southern charm. A little spalled. <laughs> uh, coming up on March 28th, the big Showtime special. Tell us about that show. Um.